There's a lot of brokenness there that we don't even realize was there. We don't realize how privileged we are to have families and know that no one's coming to take away our kids. We don't even think about that. Yeah. We just know, yeah. well, they're my kids. Who yep. are, they're my kids. Yeah. But that's not the reality for everyone. Just uh, you know, being able to have land to purchase, places to build, shopping malls, all that stuff comes at, it was at someone else's cost at some point. Yeah. And so even though today we may not have been actively involved in any of that, we've benefited. We've kind of inherited a lot of good stuff yep. that was at some point taken. And so that's what privilege is all about. And I think for me, though, a lot, if you're like me at all, I kind of got to a point from just ignorance, not knowing anything, to starting to learn about it and then feeling really guilty and just feeling kind of paralyzed yeah. by the guilt. I really believe in my heart that Jesus has called us to more than that. And I would take Jesus as my model to say it's not about just being aware of what happened. I don't know how much that helps anybody, but being aware and giving that privilege away, almost giving it back, looking at your life and saying, I have so much. Uh, and some of the, what I have, it came from negative ways in the past that I've right. inherited. Right. Rather than cling to that, consider that my own, how can I give that away? How can I serve and give back? And one of the great passages to kind of uh, reflect on that. I'll just kind of read quickly here. It's from Philippians chapter 2. And uh, just a passage about how Jesus kind of handled this. So I'll kind of read there. Philippians chapter 2, starting at verse 3, and it says, starts, don't be selfish. And you know, we could just stop there, eh? <laughs> don't be selfish. Let's just all meditate on that one for a minute. But I'll keep going. But it kind of sums up kind of where, Je- uh, where uh, Paul is going with this, talking about Jesus. He says, don't be selfish. Don't try to impress others. Be humble, thinking of others as better than yourselves. Mm. Don't look out for your own interests, but take an interest in others too. You must have the same attitude that Christ Jesus had. Though he was God, he did not think of equality with God as something to cling to. Instead, he gave up his divine privileges. He took the humble position of a slave and was born as a human being. When he appeared in human form, he humbled himself in obedience to God and died a criminal's death on a cross. Therefore, God elevated him to the place of highest honor and gave him the name above all other names, that at the name of Jesus, every knee should bow in heaven and on earth and under the earth, and every tongue declare that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. And just that part in there, you know, Jesus didn't cling to his privilege as the Son of God, but intentionally gave it up, it says here. Mm. You know, he laid it down. He gave it away. And because he did that, it led to the biggest miracle in all of history, you know? Yeah. And uh, in our lives, uh, we have this privilege that we have these things, and it's not a matter of feeling guilty about what we do have, but it's a matter of acknowledging that sometimes we need to lay those things down for the good of what God is trying to do in this world. And so yeah. I, in my life, it's a matter of just finding simple things. You know, I've been many times in the last few years felt paralyzed, felt like I couldn't do anything because I couldn't fix everything. Yeah, And I've kind of just at this point in my life anyways, just back right away from the idea of fixing anything and just thinking in my own life, how can I be faithful in simple ways in my own surroundings with regular people to just this idea of laying down my privilege, giving it away, kind of following Jesus' example, not overthinking it, but just simply stepping into the moment. And it can seem so huge that it is a step of faith to just enter into even the issue. But yeah. It's kind of stepping into the unknown. Yeah. And when we get there, it's just a matter of finding creative, simple ways to try to give it away. 